the vastness of space. The universe is immense beyond comprehension. With estimates of over 100 billion galaxies and each galaxy containing billions of stars, the number of worlds out there is utterly staggering. When we consider that our own Milky Way galaxy likely houses over 100 billion planets, you realize the possibilities are vast. There are simply so many dice rolls for life having developed somewhere. With numbers so enormously huge, many scientists argue it seems statistically unlikely Earth houses the only life in the entire universe. Of course, with such a large haystack, the challenge is finding those potential needles. But it seems naive to claim we are definitively alone. Conditions needed for life? When considering the possibilities for alien life, we have to contemplate what exactly are needed for life to develop. There are a number of factors that scientists look for. One of the most basic is liquid water. As far as our search for life goes so far, water remains essential for all biology here on Earth. Other major things life requires are an energy source and certain elemental building blocks like carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Additionally, a planet needs to reside in the habitable zone around its star, meaning temperatures are neither too hot nor too cold for liquid water to exist on the surface. Of course, life could potentially develop under non-Earth-like conditions that we simply don't know about or recognize. But when looking for a familiar biosignature out there among the stars, astronomers generally search for indications of water on rocky worlds orbiting at comfortable distances from their host stars. Liquid water alone does not guarantee life, even when the other pieces are present. The emergence of biology requires complex chemistry with several steps. First, abiotic synthesis of simple organic compounds, then chemical replication and self-assembly into primitive cells, followed by the beginning stages of Darwinian evolution. It's remarkable that life established itself at all, even on our own nurturing planet. So while liquid water may mean a planet has potential for hosting biology, numerous other factors determine whether it actually develops. The Drake Equation in 1961, astrophysicist Frank Drake developed an equation to statistically estimate the number of communicative civilizations that may exist in our Milky Way galaxy alone. The Drake equation multiplies a string of fractions representing the probability of events from the formation of stars to the evolution of intelligent life emerging on planets. While most of the values we can only guess at, when optimism is applied it yields an intriguing result, there could be millions of advanced civilizations just in the Milky Way. Of course, inherent uncertainties in this kind of statistical speculation mean the actual number could just as well be zero. But the Drake equation provides a structured scientific approach for investigation, helping astronomers narrow down the search space as new data comes to light. As our technology progresses and we explore further, values for portions of the equation can become more constrained. And with so many possible worlds remaining to probe from our limited vantage point, so far, the opportunities for discovery grow. SETI and the Search for Signals For over half a century, programs under the umbrella of SETI, or the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, have been scouring the skies for any indication of alien radio transmissions. Within our galaxy, such signals could potentially be detected from thousands of light years away using today's technology. SETI projects monitor a variety of signal frequencies using massive radio telescopes around the world, searching for the slightest hint of modulated transmissions indicating an artificial origin. No confirmed intermittent or repeating radio signals from space have been discovered as of yet, but SETI programs have also only been able to search a minuscule portion of frequencies coming from the narrow region of sky we can currently observe. Advanced alien civilizations may be exceptionally rare or utilizing communication technologies completely unrecognizable to our limited understanding of physics. Alternatively, interstellar societies may purposefully avoid sending signals detectable over vast distances for reasons of security or efficiency. There are many unknowns. But our own civilization's technological capabilities are only getting more proficient in a relatively short span of time the probability remains that others out there are far more advanced than ourselves. SETI initiatives continue to evolve with our technology, still aiming to one day detect that first faint whisper revealing we are not alone. If contact was made, answering one of humanity's ultimate questions, it would undeniably be the most momentous event in history. Discoveries Indicating Habitable Worlds Remarkable discoveries in recent decades have revealed just how common planets truly are in our galaxy. 
Thanks to missions like NASA's Kepler Space Telescope, over 5,000 exoplanets have been confirmed to date, with many more candidates awaiting verification. Importantly, some of these distant planets do reside in the habitable zones around their respective stars, meaning temperatures could allow liquid water to exist on their surfaces. The most tantalizing finds are those planets most comparable to Earth in terms of size, composition, and surface temperature. These intriguing worlds seem to offer legitimate potential for harboring life as we know it. For example, Kepler-442b orbits a red dwarf star about 1,100 light-years away and is just slightly larger than Earth with mild enough temperatures for liquid water. Another prime example is the nearby exoplanet Proxima b orbiting our closest neighboring star just four light-years away. As future missions like the James Webb Space Telescope and extremely large telescopes come online, we will be able to characterize the atmospheres of exoplanets with unprecedented precision. By analyzing spectrographic data from these planetary atmospheres, scientists could one day detect chemical indications of life from afar called biosignatures. Such an astounding discovery may come sooner than we realize. The Fermi Paradox First posed by physicist Enrico Fermi, this thought experiment asks why, with so many places life could develop in the enormous cosmos, we see no evidence of alien civilizations. This so-called Fermi paradox seems puzzling when we may in fact be so close to other worlds that potentially harbor life. Given the age of the Milky Way, if even a fraction of exoplanets bore complex life evolving into technological societies, their existence should be detectable or even noticeable by now. So where is everybody? There are some hypothetical resolutions often proposed perhaps travel across interstellar distances is simply not feasible on practical scales or timelines. Communication via electromagnetic waves may contain inherent limitations we fail to recognize or perhaps some unknown cosmic phenomenon disincentivizes widespread broadcasting. Resource limitations or lethal self-annihilation may impede civilizations over certain stages of advancement. Or perhaps we really are among the first wave of intelligence to emerge in our stellar neighborhood. Many unknowns exist in our infant understanding of development on universal scales but advancements may bring astonishing discoveries ahead. Future exploration possibilities. As we stand at this amazing point in history, the coming decades will see phenomenal new tools for expanding the boundaries of astronomical understanding. Both ground-based and space-based telescopes reaching unprecedented power will scour nearby worlds for indications of life. Space agencies are developing more advanced rovers to explore the subsurface oceans of icy moons around the gas giant's prime targets in the search for primitive extraterrestrial organisms. Breakthrough propulsion technologies like solar sails, ion drives, or even compact fusion reactors could enable probes capable of reaching nearby stars in our lifetimes. And if we ever receive a signal through SETI initiatives or detect evidence of intelligence out there, it would rapidly accelerate development even further. The unknown possibilities for discovery are incredibly thrilling. Perhaps one day, even interstellar arcs with artificial hibernation or multi-generational crews will embark on journeys to those distant points of light in the sky that still hold so much mystery. What awaits our exploring species among the stars? For seekers of knowledge and wisdom, the cosmos offers unlimited potential. Conclusion The universe holds awe-inspiring vastness and endless opportunity for revelation. While definitively confirming the existence of alien life remains elusive, steady advancements in science and technology are progressively tipping the scale toward probability. The Drake Equation presents a structured methodology for assessed speculation even with many unknown variables. SETI initiatives persist in gently scanning the skies for any whispers between stars, and revolutionary telescopes soon to launch will analyze distant worlds like never before. With so very little explored across unimaginable expanses of space and time, life surely does grace other precious worlds out there somewhere, in some form yet unknown. Intelligence too may have emerged on any number of planets, perhaps some discover and harness forces far exceeding our comprehension. As we stand at the shores of cosmic ocean, wading into the rising tides of exploration, a thrilling journey has just begun. Special surprise. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end. As a reward, I wanted to share an intriguing fact. Scientists theorized that all the material making up the human body was formed billions of years ago by ancient exploding stars. So the calcium in our bones, iron in our blood, and carbon we are made of were all created within fiery stellar furnaces before the sun and earth even existed. 
We are literally made of stardust. Some atoms traced to particular long dead stars are likely older than our entire solar system. So every time you look up at the breathtaking stars flooding the night sky, you could be seeing the cosmic blast furnace origins of the elements that make up your body. We are children of the stars. Thanks so much for watching.